Ladies and gentlemen, we are gathered here to witness the marriage of Mosisi David and Gabrielle Sabina Maria. When God made man and woman and ordained marriage to be a holy institution, he never intended it to be for dry running or an experiment in cohabitation. Today, many people consider marriage to be an outmoded relic, totally unsuited to meet the needs of modern man. Divorce, remarriage, and other arrangements are being advocated for as alternatives to a Christian marriage. But in Ephesians chapter 5, verse 21, the word of God gives us a certain pattern for us to follow. I, Moses C. David, promise God that I will love him all my heart, mind, and spirit. I promise that my love for Sabina will be second only to my, my love for God. I promise to love my wife even as Christ loves the church, even as my own body. I promise that I will leave my father and mother and cleave only to my wife. I promise that I will be the spirit leader in my home. And I will be a priest and a prophet for my home. I promise God that I will always love Sabina with courtesy and respect. I promise that I will remain married to Sabina as long as I live. Sabina Gabriel, promise God that I will love him with all my heart, mind and spirit. I promise that my love for David will be second only to my love for God. I promise to be submissive to my husband, even as the church is subject to Christ. I promise God that I will respect my husband. I promise that I will be a woman of prayer and of the word of God. I promise that I will encourage my husband in the, in the Lord and that I will follow David as he follows the Lord. I promise God that I will be kind, gentle and gracious to David. I promise to be sensitive to his needs and feelings. I promise to be considerate of my husband in everything. I promise God that I will re remain married to David. I need your love to set me free. I need your love. 